I know I promised not to spill the beans on this or anything, but I must let it out. You may or may not have heard of a relatively popular YouTube series called, Super Mario Logan, or, SML for short, a show in which Mario characters, or sometimes other Nintendo characters or random puppets, have wacky and sometimes risque conflicts that they need to solve in some weird way. The show is mostly watched by 13-year-old boys, despite the humor being a bit too suggestive. I myself am a 15-year-old girl. Yes I know, I'm sort of weird, but that's besides the point in all honesty. SML was and still is a huge hit, earning millions, and I mean millions of views each day, now having almost 5 million subscribers, it's quite crazy seeing a YouTuber who films himself playing with dolls would have so many fans, even though most of them are said 13 year old boys. Now I don't mean to brag or anything but I'm a good friend of Logan 30 Acre, the owner of the SML channel. Ever since Logan started a Patreon, he has been getting a so-so good amount of money. It wasn't something to write home about or anything, but it's bittersweet to know that Logan has fans who really care about him. But anyways I am his top patron, giving him well over $1000 a month, I really don't care if I'm wasting Christmas money for this, now as part of the reward tire, Logan has personally given me his phone number, he also occasionally facetimes me, this to me, was a pretty cool experience, actually talking to someone whom I'm such a big fan of, what could be better? My parents weren't home today, so I got to chat with Logan for a little bit, I recently told Logan via FaceTime of any upcoming videos, Logan laughed and told me a couple of ideas he planned. I then politely asked Logan if he could show me a video that hasn't been released yet, all of a sudden, Logan just blanked out, his breathing suddenly became more heavy, I asked Logan what's up. He didn't give me an answer, all he did was hang up. I was confused to say the least, I never seen Logan so anxious before. Seconds later, I received a pop-pop notification from Gmail, it was from Logan. Dear name withheld. Listen, I've been stressed out for months and months and talking with you has only made my deep secret come more clear to you, this YouTube thing is seriously not working out for me anymore, I tried to gather up the crew to make a video, but not just any video, a video to express my emotions on the situation I'm dealing with right now. Please whatever you do, never, and I mean never tell anybody about this video, you have to promise me name withheld on behalf of my fanbase, and me. Logan 30 Acre. At the end of the email was a link to an enlisted YouTube video, not on the Super Mario Logan, or SML, channel, but on another channel made by Logan I never even heard of called, Super Mario Logan 1994. Not his original channel, but this. The video had no views obviously, but the channel also had no subscribers and had the default YouTube icon and channel banner, I thought it closed down. The video in question was called, SML Movie, saying our goodbyes to Jeffy. It was a very unusual title, usually the title of an SML movie or short is just the character's name and what the video is about after said character's name, it didn't even have the usual exclamation mark at the end of the title. The description of the video wasn't any less stranger, it read. After many fan requests, Jeffy finally gets killed off, smiley face. What the frick? I said softly to myself, Logan loved Jeffy, not to mention Jeffy was the main reason of Logan reaching insane numbers of views and subscribers, it seemed extremely out of place for him to kill off the most popular SML character. I decided to stop letting my worried behavior get a hold of me, and I started the video. The video started off really light-hearted, as a typical SML movie should, Jeffy was patting his diaper as usual, and Mario, or Marvin for now on, told Jeffy in a serious tone of voice to stop, Jeffy ignored Mario obviously and continued smacking his crotch. Mario, or Marvin, told Jeffy to be a good boy because he was going out to the store and he promised Jeffy if he was good, he'd pick out a toy for him at Toys R Us. Jeffy responded with, Okay daddy. And Mario went out the door. That was when the scene started to feel out of place, the camera was focused on Jeffy for an uncomfortable amount of time. It was silent for 30 seconds. No jokes, no music, no sound effects, nothing. I felt shaky as the scene went on. Jeffy barely even moved an inch, at first I thought this was a mistake and Logan just forgot to stop the camera while recording, after all, this was an unreleased episode so I expected it to not be edited very well. Suddenly, Jeffy moved his hands to his face. <coughs> Jeffy let out a huge scream, the scream happened so suddenly, it nearly gave me a heart attack. Jeffy ran to the kitchen where Chef Pee Pee was cooking a meal. 
as the usual Bavarian music played as the scene transitioned, Chef Pepe was making an inedible looking dinner as usual, until Jeffy ran into the kitchen, screaming at the top of his lungs. Wait what? Jeffy, why are you screaming? Chef Pepe said in a clearly concerned voice. Jeffy started to shake on the floor, he was foaming out the mouth, and you could clearly see tears on Jeffy's face, they didn't look like ordinary droplets of water or the fake eyelids they put on the characters to make them look sad, the tears looked realistic. Chef Pepe looked down at the floor in utter shock, as the scene ended. The next scene opened up with a shot of a hospital, Jeffy was in a hospital bed, on life support, his ECG, electrocardiography, monitor was barely beeping and it looked like it was about to flatline at any moment. Jeffy looked grotesque, he was severely thin, his face looked like a ghoul, there were wrinkles all around his eyes and mouth, Jeffy even whimpered and coughed, it didn't sound like those fake coughs, it sounded like he was in pain, it was so realistic, I almost thought I heard someone cough in my own room. Mario, Marvin, and his wife Rosalina were standing next to Jeffy, they both softly whimpered, no music was playing, the couple both silently sobbed for a while, it was sad to watch, I even felt like crying myself. Just then, the doctor came in, it was Brooklyn T.I., one of my favorite characters, I was expecting him to lighten up the mood and I'd hoped he'd crack one of his sarcastic jokes like, Well well well, Jeffy's as dead as fall guys. No seriously, he is D-E-A-D. But unfortunately, he only made the scene feel even more dismal. I am sorry. Brooklyn Guy said in a depressing voice. We done everything we, we could, but he's gone. He looked down at the floor, trying to avoid eye contact with Mario and Rosalina. Please please say your final goodbyes to Jeffy. And with that said, Brooklyn Guy calmly walked out the door. Mario, or Marvin, and Rosalina both gradually inched their way towards Jeffy, their sobbing getting louder and louder the closer they get. Goo goodbye Jeffy. Mario spoken. Goo, goo, goo. Rosalina violently broke into tears before even finishing her farewell, her crying didn't sound like the way she cries in a regular episode, her crying sounded as though her voice actor was actually crying instead. The scene ended with a shot of Jeffy's ECG monitor as it went flat. The next scene began at the red couch where the characters usually sit on. Mario and Rosalina are both sitting there. The atmosphere of the scene didn't look right, it was dark and dreary. The couple both looked at each other and sighed, the sighing soon turned into quiet whimpers. Rosalina started to cry loudly, but Mario was just sobbing faintly. The crying continued on for a minute, the scene began to distort. There was a static interference coming on the screen every now and again, the scene started to slowly turn black and white, like an old movie from the 1920s. Rosalina's sobbing got louder and more distorted, I could barely even tell if she was crying anymore. Mario, Marvin, on the other hand, actually was crying, his voice stayed the same as Rosalina's voice only worsened. Jeffy, why did he have to do go? Then, Radiohead's creep started playing in the background. Mario said all distraught, he cried, although Mario's crying sounded like his normal crying and less realistic. Rosalina also said something, I couldn't understand her though, as previously mentioned, her voice was too distorted. Mario, Marvin, continued to cry. Rosalina stopped crying though, she just sat there, not feeling any emotion, she didn't even turn to look at Mario crying, she just stared menacingly at the camera, as if she knew I was watching. I needed to pause the video. What the actual frick am I watching? I exclaimed to myself. This wasn't an SML video at all, this feels more like a sick joke pulled off by Logan, but why would he make this? Logan stated he made this to express himself, it doesn't seem like he's doing that, it seems like he linked me this video just to scare me. I was praying that once the video ended, there would be a message like, you just got wrecked loser, or something along those lines. My hand started to tremble as I placed it on my mouse and clicked the play button. As the scene of crying finally ended, it faded to black. It cut to the room from that one episode, the secret door. The bodies were there as always, but it zoomed in on Mario laying there on the floor with a shotgun right next to him. Then it revealed that he had killed himself and it even showed his brain matter and blood on the walls. I almost threw up. It was too detailed. The brain matter, the blood, even the body. Then, the music stopped and there was a loud static interference, it startled me to death, I was holding my hand near my chest and breathing slowly. 
I couldn't take this anymore, I really wanted to stop but I needed to know whether or not this was a joke. I pressed on, the static only lasted for 25 seconds or so, until it finally stopped and showed. Something to this day, I cannot explain. The scene transitioned to a distorted body of Jeffy. The body was mangled, both of his eyes were ripped out and replaced with empty black holes for sockets, there was stuffing all over him as he was torn to pieces. The music that was normally playing in the background was Kevin MacLeod's Dodeo, except the other instruments being played were all glitched out and hard to listen to. A slight murmur is faintly audible, it almost sounds like Jeffy whimpering as he was in the hospital bed from before. The camera zooms into Jeffy's sliced up face, it almost resembled a crime scene. I couldn't believe my eyes as I had my hands over my mouth and I breathed heavily. I shuddered like an earthquake, I just wished this was all just a bad nightmare, and that I would wake up. After the scene slowly faded to black as the music continues to play, white text on a black background appeared. It read. You made me do this. The text fades away along with the music, and the video ends. There wasn't anything after that, not even an SML question. I was distraught, I wailed and cried in the corner as I laid on my stomach for a little while. Once I came back, the video was gone and had the usual message on the screen saying, this video does not exist. I tried refreshing but I got the same message, I was so scared and confused. I got out my phone and told my parents to come home as soon as possible, my one responded with a simple, why? And I replied while crying hard and pleading, my one hung up as quickly as possible and she sent me a text that said, we are coming home as soon as possible. I sat on my bed, traumatized, waiting for them to come home. Once my parents came home, I ran to them, giving them both a big hug, they hugged back as I bawled my eyes out. A day has passed, and I decided to finally send Logan an email about the video, he has this to say. Hey name withheld. Please listen to this email as thoroughly as you possibly can. I just want to start up by saying how sorry I am you had to see that video, showing you it was a huge mistake, I don't know what went through my head when I decided it was a good idea to link that tasteless video to you, it's my own fault. Now I wanna be honest with you name withheld, I kind of lied. I was just in a hurry to write that other email to you that I sort of rushed out an explanation. The truth is, that video you saw was made in response to my haters, since Jeffy's first appearance. I already planned on an episode to kill him off, but it got too real, and I decided it was a good idea to edit the video a bit, you know, give it a bit of, pizzazz, wanting this video to have a bit of a more darker tone, and the Jeffy haters that started popping up just gave me more reasons to finish this particular video. But in the end, the video didn't seem right, so I enlisted the video and put it on my account I was originally going to upload videos on just for safekeeping. However, after thinking for a while, I deleted the video, although, I think it was too late, you already watched it anyways. P.S. I'm not going to re-upload it, 